Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video. This time, Valence. I don't know if I've done a video on this deck before. Uh, it's becoming one of my, you know, favorite decks. Uh, I still would think Pendulum Magician uh, is a little more fun than this deck, only because Pendulum Magician, um, I feel like, has a little more options. Uh, Valence is basically like swarm swarm the field and OTK and you know you can put up some disruption but it's not really that's not really like the the main goal of Valence. Valence is mainly an OTK in, in my opinion like the best way to build it. Um, then Pendulum Magician could go first or second. But yeah, enough of that. Uh, let's get into the deck profile, and I'll show you some gameplay. You know, I'll show you why I like this deck. So basically, the cool thing about this deck is uh, it's like summoning mechanic. Um, like the lower level Valence monsters say, uh, you know, if, if if you put this as a pendulum skill during your main phase, if you control this, oh, I'm sorry. During your main phase, you can special summon this to your main monster zone in its, in its same column. The only downside is you can't special summon uh, any other monsters unless they're from the extra deck. So, you know, that's kind of like the downside. So, you, know, you basically fill up this deck with Valence monsters and then like other like normal summons that you, you would want to use like to make like synchros or you know your link plays so that's like the basic goal like you you let the opponent make their board or whatever um you kaiju or you um lava golem it out lava golem is definitely better in this deck i mean you're kind of giving up your normal summon but you contribute away two monsters i used to run three kaijus in this so okay i i just want to warn you guys so as as many monsters as you see in here, like there's like how many valence? There's three, four, five, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eight. There's like twenty to twenty-one valence monsters here, and you could still brick with this deck. Like, <laughs> uh, it's you know, it's kind of the downside with this because like you need to open up like a decent hand. To do what you need to do which is basically otk um otherwise you're kind of giving the opponent a chance to come back and valence is not the best at disruption uh like i was saying unlike pendulum magician you kind of you can kind of like either otk them or set up your own disruption and it kind of still works right but for valence you kind of just want to otk them because you can't really set up much disruption on the opponent's turn like um some of like one or two of these um, uh, Valence uh, boss monsters has a, a quick effect. Um, not this one, I believe it's this one. Ar Arctos Chronochasm. This has a quick effect. Um, so basically, you do the quick effect, and um, if a card moves, you can destroy a card. So you have like one disruption. From your from your own monsters you know and, and then maybe like one of these has like a monster negate I think one of these um, like regular valence monsters and and that's really it you know like so you're, you're relying on whatever you could build um, which you know you have some options right but it's in, in my opinion you really got to go for the OTK and, and I'll show you some clips so one clip I did not get the OTK but I played through at least three disruptions which is which is really cool um then another one where I, I i was able to perform the otk i mean their board was kind of weak but still um all right so let's let's go through the cards i've been talking way too much so hop your squadron this is a new tech that i've been trying out that i learned from um another pendulum deck so this card can special summon on the opponent's turn as a quick effect and you can synchro into uh, Horus, Metaphys Horus. And this with a Pendulum Monster, if you use a Pendulum Monster as its material, um, you can choose a monster they control and take control of it. 
So that's really cool. It's a nice disruption. So if you do go first, uh, I mean, obviously you don't always have a choice of what's in your hand, but this is a great disruption. Um, or if, you know, you can't OTK them. Uh, and you can also negate uh, monsters' effects. So it's like two disruptions in one, which is pretty cool. Um, then, you know, two Ash Blossom. I'm running two Cold Buys, uh, Cosmic Cyclone, and a Harpies, plus the two Kaijus as like my tech cards. Um, of course, you could run three Ash Blossom. Maybe drop like one of these Hojos, um, you know, or any of these other ones that you don't want too many of. You definitely want to see a lot of the, the, the smaller ones because basically um, anything up to a level 4 Valence, um, you could special summon it from the Pendulum Zone without any conditions. But if it's a level 6 and above, so it's like level 6 and 8. Um, you need either another Valence, like water, or f so they're, they're water and fire monsters. You, e you either need another Valence monster to do this special summon condition, or you need the field spell up, which we'll, we'll get into in a minute. Um, so basically, yeah, let's keep going. So I run Zora because um, I like him <laughs> as, a, as a monster. Um, and also he's a level 4 tuner. So what does that mean? Easy access to Ignisticker, Ignister Prominence, uh, Borlode Savage if you're already Link Summoned, Draco Berserker, Baron DeFloor with um, these level 6 cards. So it's nice if you draw it, you know. I wouldn't really run three of them. I guess you could, like if you really want to go with the synchro plays, you could run three of this. But then you'd have to drop something else, so you know, it's your preference. So kaiju's, I would really run three of these, to be honest, um, because I love seeing them. Um, I just, you know, I just mentioned that, you know, I did have a slight breaking problem the, the last few games with this deck, so I would recommend a build like this with three kaiju's or you know, three lava golems. Just because you you want to see it uh, going second. Um, Shinome, Shinonome, uh, we spoke about. She adds um, a Valence spell when you use her effect to special summon. So that's always nice. And also, they have a second effect. All these Valence monsters. So they have an effect if you special summon from the, the Pendulum Zone. And also they have an effect if you move them uh, horizontally because that's like the other feature. So they move vertically and then they move horizontally on the field. So if you move them horizontally, it says um, you can add one valence monster from your deck to your hand. So, you know, these, these monsters are cool. They have two effects. Um, but, you know, you got to trigger them. It's not like they innately have two effects. You, you have to find a way to trigger the second effect. So, three Shinonome, uh, three Valence Buster. This one says... This one helps you move other monsters. And then also you could target a card in either player's Pendulum Zone and place it adjacent into the Spell and Trap. So why would you do that? Because one of these other ones lets you summon a monster from the Trap Zone. Or one of these spell cards. Um, let's see. So this one says you could target effect monster, either negate its effects or have its attack. And then if this moves, toss a coin and either destroy a card or return it to the hand. So this is like this archer is like your disruption card. Um, voltage Viscount. Um, says ah it says you could target you could place one face up pendulum monster from your extra deck uh, as a continuous spell and if this moves you can move you could put a valence monster from your extra deck into your pendulum zone so this one yeah I'm only running as two oh no I am running as three 
Wait, this one you could probably cut because its its effect isn't the best. Um, yeah, like like if if you're gonna cut one, you should cut this. His his effect isn't the best, to be honest. Um, all right, Nizuki. Um, Nizuki says you could target a monster in either either player zone, move it to an adjacent zone. If this card moves to another zone, you can target another Valence and your Spell and Trap and Spell. Okay, so this one's spe special summons from the uh, Spell and Trap zone. Uh, Mad Marquis says, oh, this is the best one. Um, so if you're searching either through um, Shinonome or like, you know, um, these Electromite, you want to. Um, you want to get Mad Marquee if you don't already have it because he can excavate and search for another one so that's really cool um, so I, I run three of him because I, I really love his effect um, I'm running two Hojo you could probably cut this down but I like his fusion effect if this card moves um, you could fusion summon using your hand field or pendulum zone um, so, so that's really cool. Um, and then Dominator Duke says you could target a set card in the Spell and Trap Zone. That set card cannot be activated. If this card moves, you could target a face-up monster in your opponent's field and take control of it. But it can't declare. Oh, so yeah, this this is this has a really cool effect too. So it's it's really you know between these two cards is really how how you want to you know do the ratios because he could take control of another monster he could fusion summon which is really you know how you get into your your um, boss monsters um, but you know you could also just uh, use more materials on the field to get into the boss monsters but. That's that's pretty cool. Um, I'm running one uh, place of beginning that says add a sorry a field spell, and then if it's at the grave, you could place a face up uh, valence pendulum from your extra deck into your pendulum zone. So it has a nice secondary effect. Soul activation. If you have room, you should definitely run more of these. But this is an easy three of. Place one uh, Valence monster from your deck into your Pendulum Zone. And then if you have the field spells up, you can target a Valence and move it. So this is, you know, all the effects you would want. You could search any Valence, and then if you have the field spells up, um, you can um, move the monsters, which gives them the secondary effects. So, alright, the field spells. Alright, so the field spells are like the most expensive part of this deck. Um, you know, if you're able to pull multiple copies, that's great. Um, the reason why you want multiple copies is they they work in a weird way. Uh, because it basically says, when this card is activated, place one field spell. So you place the other one in your opponent's zone. So you need the other one in, in your deck for this to work. So ideally, I would have two of these Koenig Weissen and two of these Shinra Banchos. Uh, but you know, I'm cheap on crafting, right? Because, you know, I'm a budget player. Uh, but ideally, you run, you know, two of these and two of these. And these, like, basically help you move either the opponent's monsters uh, into the spell and trap zone, or you can move yours, um, however you want to move it, um, to extend your plays. Um, Senate switch is cool because this helps you move your monster. Um, I don't know if I'd run more more of these. You know, if you really have space, you could do it. But you know, for a 40 card deck, this is kind of tight as it is. I run cosmic because I hate back row, and the cold by we already spoke of against uh, Maxi and uh, Ash Blossom. All right, so um, the extra deck. Um, to, to get this deck started, you know, 
considering this is always like a budget profile. You only really need the uh, SR uh, Valence Genesis Grand Duke, which uses uh, two uh, Valence monsters. Um, because this this works in conjunction with the uh, field spells, like this this UR um, boss monster, which is three Valence monsters. Um, I mean, it, it has a nice effect. It says during the main phase, you could target an effect monster in your opponent's zone and place it as a continuous spell. I mean, that's nice, but it's you know, it's actually hard to summon this monster um, because. You know, unless you have like five valence on the field, you gotta sacrifice three for this one, and like, it's not always the best monster to go into. Um, this one is 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 a good count, you know, compromise because you can only give up two of your monsters, and you know, you can you could use some of its effects. This one is also pretty good to go into the uh, Arctos Chronochasm. If you could pull this, definitely include this. Uh, it says. Must first be special summoned by tributing two level five or higher valence monsters. So this this helps you move your cards around and get you know secondary effects. Um, so this is probably the best card, to be honest, over um, this United one. But I still run it because I like the summoning animation, you know. <laughs> anyway, we spoke about Horus. An Ignister Prominence is uh, a non-targeting uh, shuffle, um, so it's good removal. Savage, if you're going first or um, if you want to set up a negate for the opponent's turn. Draco Berserker is always great, monster negate. Barone, Omni negate. Uh, you need Electromite to extend your plays, and you need uh, Beyond the Pendulum to extend it. If you could run two beyonds, I think it would be decent in case like you need extension in the next turn. Um, but I'm only running one. I, I, I crafted this one. Um, Nightmare Unicorn is always good. Um, these are not spellcasters, so you can't run Selene. Uh, okay, this guy is, but most of them are not. Well, okay. A few of them are. <laughs> Jeez, one two, three of these are spellcasters, but you don't want to rely on that, right? Well, four of these are spellcasters. Jeez. I, I guess you could run Selene if you want to risk it, but I, I think running Nightmare Unicorn is, is better as the Link 3. Appaloosa is always good. Uh, access code you need for OTK, and I don't, you know, I don't run decks without Underworld Goddess because of, you know, tower monsters. And that's that's really it let's let's get into the replays uh, I'll show you how this deck works all right so the first one is a loss actually but uh, I just wanted to show you how this deck could play through disruption um, this guy was playing the 60 pile like Zephra symphonic warrior like Kashtira like he's playing this like I'd call it like a, an abomination deck that I've seen on the internet before. Um, it also has Anemion. So this guy is just like playing everything. Um, like all this Pendulum good good cards with a, with a ton of Omni Negates. Um, yeah, let's let's show you the, the gameplay. Alright, so the I actually opened decently. Uh, but the opponent goes through... Sorry, an obnoxious combo. This, this is just turbo, like, this is just turbo Omni Negates. I was always curious about this deck. Oh, it runs Aurorodon too, so I'm not about to run Aurorodon, but it's just funny because he goes through all this and he ends on Roan, um, an Omni Negate Trap, uh, I believe. A searchable Ash Blossom, which was so weird, I never saw that before. And uh, I think that's it. So it's three disruptions. We'll, we'll see. So I was like, you you do all this just for three disruptions. <laughs> so I mean, you know, I, I guess it's like a consistent, aka you know, quote unquote, sorry, consistent three disruptions, which I guess is pretty good. Um, 
But yeah, I just didn't have enough to beat him. I, I feel like if this uh, Hoppier Squandering was anything else, like another Valence card or something, I would have beat him. And you'll see why. Um, Alright, so yeah, so he has an Omni Negate Trap. Um, he has Baron de Floor, Omni Negate. And I didn't even know it worked like that, but Chao Fang. Um, when it's destroyed, you could search a tuner from your deck, which um, you could search out. Um, geez, Ash Blossom. I was like so shocked. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see what happens. So I go for Shinonome, her effect to special summon. They let that go. They negate the. Uh, the search for the spell and they destroy my card so that's one disruption oh no they shuffle okay. so you can add one tuner from your deck to your hand which it was like what the this could search ash blossom that was the craziest thing i've ever seen anyway um, so I, I go for the field spell next because I need that to use the effects of um, Marquis and stuff. So he negates that because I guess he knows what's up. So I normal summon the Buster Baron. Um, I go into Mad Marquis. I use its effect. Then. I do the search, which he negates. That probably would have won the, me the game. If I had at least one more balance. So I go into... Um, Beyond. And I'm able to resolve this. So I'm able to get the... Did I not speak about this? Sorry. Um, so I, I run the... the Pendulum Scale 9 uh, Spirit Monsters because they're the best deck, uh, but they're the best card to search to scale with your Valence Monsters because all the Valence Monsters are one scale. So then you could scale like anything. Um, sorry if I didn't explain that, jeez. Um, anyway. I'm able to. to Use beyond the. I'm able to pendulum summon, and then I'm able to get rid of two of his cards. So I I think I made a mistake here, because um, this says you can target a valence monster, move it, um, and then this this has an effect, but. You would need um, so it basically lets you uh, special summon uh, valence in your pendulum zone, but I, you can't do it if, if it's blocked. So I shouldn't have used this effect. I I, I messed up here. So oh, so actually I don't think I messed up. Because I don't even know that was that effect uh, was there. So this says this extra deck card must first be fusion summoned or special summoned by attributing one level five or higher valence in the same column as extra monsters. I don't even know that was a thing. So if, if you're able to get a level five in the uh, columns below the extra monster zone, you could special summon this for one card for you know. By attributing the one valence monster. I don't even know that. So actually I did not misplay. That was actually the best play I could have made. Um, so I go into Nightmare Unicorn here to uh, get rid of this monster. Like I thought that was like my only play left, you know? Because I already used his effect, his special summon, right? So yeah. I was kind of out of options here. So 
So does he have a quick effect? No, he doesn't. So yeah. I I wanted to uh, put up some kind of disruption, so I went into Akalisa. But, you know. I lost the game, right? So it's not enough. <laughs> um, Alright, so let's speed through what he does. So he gets the field spell, he gets some spell counters on his servant of Anemion. So he, I think he's trying to bait the uh, Appaloosa here by um, using these effects, but I didn't really care about them. And anyway, he chain blocked um, getting the um, the Yang Zing trap, so I couldn't stop him anyway. So now he has another Omni negate on top of the spell negate from Anemia. And the worst part is I'm playing Pendulum, right? So all my all my cards are spell cards. So kind of screwed here. But I guess he knew that, right? Was you use Servant to search one of these Indian? Uh, I, I don't think I had a much of a better play. I guess I could have normal summoned this. But what is this card on its own going to do? This says you need a fire. Yeah, I really didn't have any other options. And then he uses his other negate. So yeah, I'm... I'm cooked. So yeah, that's the end. But you know, I I played through three disruptions on that turn. I played through two on this one. You know, I wasn't able to do anything. But you know, Valence has some gas. You know, um, I, I really enjoy this deck. Let me show you a win. This guy was playing like a chaos deck. Um, he bricked, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna say like he played this amazing deck or anything, but uh, I can at least show you. So I, I opened pretty decent for going second. Um, so yeah, he bricked. Then he fires off Maxi. And then I have the call by, so he's cooked. I don't know what the back row is, but I just I just play, assuming I can play. So I trigger Shinonome's effect to sub stomach. That gives me the search. So I get um, solo activation, which is the best card. Because that'll get me another pendulum monster. Straight, straight to the pendulum zone. Though I didn't realize that. So I get the field spell. That way, I'm able to um, special summon the Mad Marquee. Then use the effect to excavate. I go for the Hojo. Then I'm able to move this guy. Summon him. Then I go into Electromite first, because that just gives me more cards, you know? So I pop my own field spell, I get another Valence, which is the Voltage Fist Count, my count. Then I go into Beyond. I search my Scale 9, and then I'm able to Scale and Pendulum Summon. And then I'm able to pop two of his cards. It wasn't really anything anyway. Um, Nightmare Unicorn. Axis Code Stalker. And that's all she wrote. So th that's what I mean. Like, this is an OTK deck. Like, I made this with two level fives. I made this with my remaining monsters. And, you know, it's just so easy to OTK. I mean, you got to clear their board, right? Uh, but the field spells help with that. Um, because you can move their monsters back. Like I said, you can kaiju or, you know, lava gold them. Um, and that's really it. I mean, you know, 
I guess back row decks aren't as easy because you can't really like disrupt them as much like with your own cards but that is valence ladies and gentlemen uh, i hope you guys enjoyed uh, i'll see you guys in the next video take care